Greetings everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the Trumpeter A37A Dragonfly in 148 scale. I saw this one at the shelves at the local hobby shop and couldn't resist it. Definitely want to add this to my collection of Vietnam era ground pounders. So it, this was more of an impulse buy, but um, uh, I think it, overall it's going to be a pretty decent looking airplane. The uh, the one thing that really stands out to me is just how restrained the panel lines and the rivet detailing is. In my previous trumpeter experience, I feel like they're a little heavy-handed <clears throat> when it comes to panel line detail and rivet detail. This one feels adequately restrained, and I'm uh, quite impressed with it, actually. Cockpit detail seems pretty standard. Nothing jumping out to me as particularly noteworthy but also not necessarily bad. Surface detail on the wings looks pretty decent as well. And from some of the few reference images that I've seen, looks pretty accurate. Uh, you do get some uh, good collection of detailed parts. One of the things that's, that is notable is the one piece engine intakes. Uh, that I like. Uh, I, I like them as separate pieces. That'll make it much easier to clean those up and provide a more streamlined look to the intakes. You do get some detail for the ejection seats here, uh, as well as the speed brake that can be deployed open or closed. You get uh, compressor and exhaust details. You do get two sprue, two identical sprues of weapons, including fuel tanks, napalm, Mark 81s, gun pods, and rocket pods. So a fairly diverse collection of um, stores to put underneath your aircraft, and they seem pretty well detailed as well. The uh, funny little extra, you know, separate sprue here with the nose, uh, and as usual, Trumpeter does protect their clear parts. However, I'm not terribly impressed with the clear parts. They have a weird kind of grainy texture to it, and I mean, there's not a lot of distortion, but just yeah, kind of a weird texture to it. You do get a nice uh, sheet of photo etch for seat belts, uh, the FOD covers, as well as um, some strengthening strips for some of the munitions. So pretty, pretty nice to include that. Decals are very simple. You get markings for one option, and then you get a separate sheet as well for the uh, all of your munitions. So pretty simple. I am sure there are aftermarket decals out there though that you can you can acquire. Construction is pretty straightforward, starting in the cockpit, moving on to the interior. You do get um, actual intake trunks, which is nice. Uh, under, uh, underside goes together. There's a lot of antennas that go on this aircraft, so just be aware of that. They might uh, cause hazards for knocking off. You do get the option of open or close canopy, open or close speed brake, landing gear. And finally, you have the options for your FOD covers. They can be open or, de you know, deployed or stowed. And then finally, we get our all of our weapons going together, uh, quite a few of them. And then the very last thing is you get to, there's a diagram on where all the weapons can go, on which stations. Uh, full color marking options for your one single option. Uh, not bad looking, as well as painting guide and marking options for your munitions. So... Yeah, overall, I think it looks like it'll be a decent kit. Um, overall, I think uh, trumpeter kits go together fairly well. The, um, I mean, obviously it remains to be seen how exactly how well it'll go together, but detail seems adequate. You probably could find room for adding some aftermarket, like resin, uh, or doing some scratch built details. The, uh, the cockpit could probably use a little sprucing up, but overall, I think even if you just built it out of the box, I think it would be a good representation. Uh, I am a big fan of painting the SEA camo scheme, so we'll definitely enjoy having this one up next to my B26K and my F105. And um, yeah, I think it'll be a fun addition to the stash, and I would recommend this kit to those of fans of the Vietnam era aircraft, as well as, you know, attack aircraft loaded with lots of munitions. Uh, would be fun to pair with a couple of like resin pilots or something in a small diorama, but yeah, I think it's a decent looking kit uh, other than the weird texture on the clear parts. So this one definitely gets a thumbs up for me and I uh, hope you enjoyed the review and we'll see you on the next video. And finally, a big shout out to my Patreons for supporting this channel. Take care, everyone.